So, you want to know about certifications in cybersecurity? Well, you're in the right place because that is exactly what we're discussing in today's video. We'll be looking at certifications from CompTIA. Who are CompTIA? Well, they are one of the world's leading IT trade associations with worldwide recognition. And since their foundation, they have issued over 2 million certificates for vendor neutral certifications. And among those certifications, the most notable are the A+, Network+, and Security+. In today's video, we will be focusing on the Network+, certification. However, I do have other videos on the A+, and Security+. So after this video, if you're interested, the link is down below in the description. And I also have videos comparing, say, the Network+, and the Security+, if you can't decide between the two. So... Looking at the Network Plus certification, it is seen as the industry standard for starting a career in IT infrastructure, including areas such as network troubleshooting, configuration and management. The CompTIA Network certification will validate all those skills used within those job roles and make sure that it provides as fundamental knowledge as much as it can and provide a stepping stone for intermediate cybersecurity jobs. So now that you know that, let's get on with it and start looking deeper into the Network Plus certification. So just like all of CompTIA's certifications, the Network Plus is vendor neutral, which means you'll be able to apply the fundamentals you'll learn and demonstrate it to a wide range of IT products and solutions. Therefore, it's a great place to start if you're looking to advance your networking career and want to learn the fundamentals. While the Network Plus certification does not replace hands-on experience, it provides you with thorough knowledge of networking principles as well as an overview of some of the most pressing network issues, such as security, disaster recovery, all of which you'll see shortly when we go through the topics. Now, looking at the exam more specifically, it is 90 minutes and you will have 90 questions. Now, there are no prerequisites in terms of what you need to sit the exam and this get this certification. However, it is recommended by CompTIA that you do sit the A plus certification, which I do have a video on if you don't know much about that certification. However, as I said, it is not required. So if you do feel confident, then you can go for this without having got that certification. And they do also recommend that you have at least 9 to 12 months hands-on experience working in a junior network administrator or support technician type of job role. However, as I said, it's not required. Then looking at the pass score, it is 720 out of 900 points, which is quite standard and expected across the board for CompTIA certifications. So now that's us covering the exam, let's look at exactly what topics are covered. So first up, we have networking concepts. That means you'll be able to explain the purpose of various networking concepts and learn to implement them correctly. Then we have infrastructure. And what that is, is where you will determine and explain the proper cabling, device and storage technologies. After that, we have network operations, which is where you will use best practices to manage the network, determine policies and ensure business continuity. After that, we then also have network security, which is where you will summarize physical security and common cyber attacks, along with securing the wired and wireless network. And then we finally have network troubleshooting and tools. And what that encompasses is that you will learn to explain the network troubleshooting procedures and proper tools to support connectivity and performance. So you can see by all of these topics, it covers quite a wide range. So if you are thinking that you're not familiar with any of these, do not worry. That's what this is here for. It is here to teach you. And as I said before, they do recommend a little bit of experience before going into this. So it depends where you're at in terms of your career and what knowledge you have in terms of whether you should be confident going for something like this without any previous certifications. So what type of jobs can you get now that you know what's involved in the exam and what topics are covered? What can you get if you get this certification and you successfully pass? Well, of course, there are many out there. However, we'll just cover some of them. We have network engineer who typically design and build communication networks. And we have junior network administrators who usually set up a company's networks, monitor, update them, provide network security, and usually tend to educate non-network 
workers on the proper way to use and maintain their computers. And then finally, we have an example of a network analyst who usually analyze network requirements, set up computer networks, and configure computer hardware and software for the best network communication. So as I said, they're just a few in a massive pond. And if you are interested in going for jobs like these, then the Network Plus is definitely one you should be looking to sit. So now that you have all that information, what should you actually look to do? So as I always say in these types of videos, it depends in terms of where you are at in your career and where you are looking to head. CompTIA themselves recommend doing Network Plus after their A Plus certification as A Plus covers the fundamentals of networking and then Network Plus then dives deeper into those topics. And if you are looking to get into those types of jobs, then it's definitely one that is the next step for you. This certification can not only be used to expand your career, but it can also include a solid understanding of networking for other IT roles. So if you're interested, then it's definitely one that you should go for as it can provide you a whole list of benefits, such as even just making your CV look better or improving your career opportunities. And most important of all, increasing your credibility, especially when conducting interviews as you have that good foundation knowledge and can talk about it to try and get those higher salaries. Hopefully that's been useful for you. Do check out my Instagram. It's imentor with two underscores. And please do leave a like down below as it massively helps out the video. And do let me know in the comments if you're thinking about sitting this certification or where you're at in your cyber career.